Hey everybody, welcome to the show. Today, ooh, ooh, sparkly, shiny. Today, I've got a Celestite geode to talk about. We're gonna go over the meaning of Celestite. Celestite geodes. <clears throat> All right, so, uh, Celestite. Celestite has a high vibration and is a teacher for the new age. It is imbued with divine energies and it takes you into the infinite peace of spiritual and uh, contacts the angelic realms. It jumpstarts spiritual development and urges you towards enlightenment. It is a useful stone for stimulating clairvoyant communication dream, recall, and journeys out of the body. This beautiful crystal promotes purity of heart and attracts good fortune. It heals the aura and reveals truth. It is stone that brings balance and alignment. The deep peace it holds assists in conflict resolution and in maintaining a harmonious and in maintaining a harmonious uh, Harmonious. I've been real. Let me try this again. Uh, and maintaining a harmonious atmosphere. At <laughs> In bad, a little bit of trouble with words today. Anyway, it maintains a harmonious atmosphere in times of stress. I don't know about that. Well, <laughs> we'll see. Um, I do feel pretty relaxed here today, but then again, it is a beautiful day here in Victoria, Canada, and uh, clear blue skies, and uh, nice kind of autumn weather, not too cold, though I think we're going to be getting some cold weather here in the next few days, unfortunately this is the last of it, so if you are also in a place with, with some nice weather, be sure to enjoy it while you still can, <clears throat> before the... Uh, winter begins to set in. Anyway, uh, let's get back to Celestite. Celestite is a creative stone, especially useful for arts. Psychologically, Celestite imparts gentle strength and enormous inner peace, despite urging us towards greater openness to new experiences. It is a teacher of trust and of trust in the infinite wisdom of the divine. With its calming effect, Schlestite can cool fiery emotions. Mentally, Schlestite <laughs> calms and sharpens the mind, dispersing worries and promoting mental clarity and fluent communication. It aids the analysis of complex ideas. The stone synthesizes intellect with instinct and promotes mental balance. Placed on the third eye, Celestite opens a connection to the universe, so energies, and brings vision of peaceful coexistence with the whole of creation and holds the possibility of total harmony. That's pretty badass, I gotta say. Healing wise, the healing properties of Celestite include um, dissolving pain bringing in love. It treats disorders of the eyes and ears, eliminates toxins and brings cellular order. It soothes influence, its soothing influence relaxes the muscles, tension, and calms mental torment. All of the blue crystals, uh, like celestite, are effective openers and healers of the throat chakra. Now, of course, the blue color is associated, associated with the throat chakra, so that would stand to reason. Um, Position-wise, place as appropriate uh, or use for meditation and scrying. Um, a large piece of celestite placed within a room heightens the vibrations in that room. Do not place in direct sunlight or the color will fade. And that's it. And that is 
everything about celestite, celestite, celestite. And that is how it looks again. How pretty is that? Super pretty. That's a celestite geode. You can get these for about 50, 60 bucks. Uh, they are actually available. Are they available? I think they might be available in the online shop, which has a link in the description. Um, but they're beautiful. They're one of my favorite stones. Um, I actually use these quite, quite frequently uh, for uh, communication to um, help bring out the inner creative, expressive self. These are great for actors, for uh, musicians, singers, songwriters, but uh, singers in particular. Uh, they're all about uh, opening the throat chakra and, and helping to express creativity. So, for the artistically inclined, for, the, for those in uh, a career field of, of expressionism, the Celestite Stone is a great one to have around. Um, yeah, Celestite Stone. What stones would you guys like me to talk about in some of my coming videos? Let me know in the comments. Like and subscribe if you have not yet, if you like the video. Uh, if you don't, you know, give me a dislike. Actually, no, don't do that. Um, my grandma used to say, if you can't say anything nice, don't say anything at all. And I think that was kind of a nice philosophy. So if you don't like the mini video, um, Oh, do whatever you want. Like, dislike, subscribe, <laughs> subscribe, or comment uh, what you, like I say, what you want me to talk about next. Uh, on a little side note, <clears throat> I was doing a little bit of rock hounding um, a couple days ago, and I found this little tiny, uh, little tiny uh, piece of a uh, crystal quartz cluster. It's so small you can barely see it, but it's there. It's small, it's so small. Um, so that was kind of cool. I'm going to start looking around uh, the west coast of Canada for some more uh, gemstones uh, from from the wild, from the wilderness. And I'll keep you guys updated in, as to what I find. I'm going to be creating some videos uh, to that respect as well. So yeah, um, everything gemstones, crystals, etc, etc. You guys got any uh, requests? The comments. You guys like the video? Click, click like. You don't like the video? Click like anyway. It'll be confusing, like it'll really confuse everybody that way.